I share with you the need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. And I and I share with you uh, the devil doesn't want us to be filled with the Holy Spirit because we receive the power from God. You know, that's why I believe in, even in traditional churches, they were not taught about baptism in the So today I want to uh, talk about why we speak in tongues. Let's go to the first uh, scripture. Uh, this is one of the key scriptures. It's in Romans chapter 8, uh, verse 26 to 27. Now let me read it for you. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we do not know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. Verse 27, And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying. For the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. So over here it says that the Holy Spirit, if you baptized in the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues, it helps us, the Holy Spirit helps us in our weaknesses because we don't know what to pray for. Yeah, we don't know how to pray. We do not know what to pray. But the Holy Spirit, as we pray in tongues, can help us to pray the will of God. Do you know a lot of times when we pray, we can pray, but we not we might not pray uh, in the will of God. In other words, it really helped us because as we pray in the spirit, as we speak in tongues, we're asking God to help us pray in the will of God. Last week I shared that, you know, in Acts 2, verse 11, when we pray in tongues, when we speak in tongues, we are talking about the wonderful things that God has done. You know, and I also shared that uh, last week, if some of you might understand because it's in you know, other people's language. So today I want to look at uh, some of the Corinthian verses, uh, verse by verse. So let's go to the book of First Corinthians. Now let's start with uh, chapter 12. Okay, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, verse, let's start from verse 1. Now, concerning spiritual gifts, brother, I do not want you to be ignorant. Now, this is really, really key because a lot of us, you know, we have been maybe a Christian for many years or we're new believers, doesn't matter, but we do not want to be ignorant of the things of the Spirit, the spiritual gifts. Sometimes a lot of it is lack of teaching. So let's start from uh, verse 7 to 10. Let's go through this uh, one part here. You know, when you feel with the Holy Spirit and you start speaking in tongues, it's just uh, an entry to the spiritual things of God. 
被圣灵充满，得着方言的时候，他只是对于属灵领域里面的一个起步而已。Now that verse seven says a spiritual gift is given to each of us so we can help each other. 第七节说到圣灵显在个人的身上是叫人的益处。So that you know what's the purpose of baptism of the Holy Spirit? Speaking in tongues and receiving those spiritual gifts is to help one another. 所以，为什么我们需要被圣灵充满？是因为我们可以帮助彼此。Because you have the empowerment to help brothers and sisters. 因为你圣灵加力量给你，能够去帮助弟兄姐妹。Let's look at some of the spiritual gifts. 所以，我们来看一下这些属灵的恩赐。Uh, verse eight, it says, "To one person, the Spirit gives the ability to give wise advice." 这人蒙圣灵赐他智慧的言语。To another, the same spirit gives a message of special knowledge. Verse nine says, "The same spirit gives great faith to another." And to someone else, the the one spirit gives the gift of healing. And verse ten, it says he gives one person the power to perform miracles. It's called 一人能行异能 And another, the ability to prophesy. It's called 一人能做先知 It gives someone else the ability to discern whether a message is from the spirit of God or from another spirit. It's called 一人能辨别诸灵 This is very helpful because you know you want to know that you receive you know the message from God. This is very useful because. Still, another person is given the ability to speak in unknown tongues. 又叫一人能说方言。Unknown tongues or you know godly language. While another is given the ability to interpret what is being said. 又叫一人能翻方言。Do you know? I realized that you know this uh the language of God, this godly language. Do you know it's free from uh cursing? Foul language. It's a clean language. I don't know what language you speak. Every language in the world, it has a bad word in it, right? But speaking in tongues, it's a holy language. It's a clean language of God. So the more you speak in tongues. You know, the more God can clean up your language. So, God will be more able to clean up your language. Now, in First Corinthians, it says that not only you want to speak in tongues, but you know, the Bible encourages you to prophesy. The Bible says that it encourages us to prophesy, and that we also need to be able to prophesy. You know, being filled with the Holy Spirit and speaking in tongues, you are also uh, encouraged and given the ability to prophesy. Now let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 14. Now let's look from uh, verse 1 to 6. Now in verse 1 it says, Let love be your highest goal. But you should also desire the special abilities that spirit gives, especially the ability to prophesy. Verse two it says, for if you have the ability to speak in tongues, you will be talking only to God. Since people won't be able to understand you. You'll be speaking by the power of the Spirit, but you will all be mysterious. So, from this verse, you know that speaking in tongues is actually speaking to God. Because people don't understand you. But you can take one step further. You know, by prophesying, people will be able to understand you. 